Med bay, yeah. You've unlocked the med bay. Here you can shop for medical supplies. You can also speak to the doctor, get free health care, including restoring any incapacitated squad members. Now we're talking. Hey, Rangers. I'm here at last. Uh, it'll take a while. But I think I'll be able to make an actual surgery out of this place. Just need to call in a few favors for equipment and supplies. If you need treatment now, well, I think I'm ready for that. What do you need? I need everything reattached. Uh, who's this patient? Fine. Oh, this is the one. Everything is fine. Right, right, right. For we now. know who she is. Uh, we need to be patched up. Of course, no sense in bleeding all over the place. Have a seat. Excellent. Feel better already. You have any medical supplies you can sell us? Mm. I brought a few things over from the garage. Not much yet, but... It's basically just these that we need to buy. Let's buy, like, 20 of them. Okay. We got Irv in here. This thing is still completely locked down, whatever that is. Hi, Rangers. Thanks again for letting me work for you. This is so exciting. Uh-huh. You enjoying the work? I... I am so happy. I'm learning so much. All my life, I wanted to be a scientist. But all I could do was read the books and dream. And now I can actually do things. It's incredible. What do you think of Doc Parker? He's wonderful. He's almost as smart as Dr. Finster, but without all the, um, you know, evil. And what are you working on? A square watermelon. Why? <laughs> Can you clone one of us instead of these watermelon? Uh, yes, theoretically. I can have the machine take your genetic material and run the process, uh, but, um, no guarantee what comes out the other end. Pretty sure in cloning, the number one thing that you desire is a guarantee that's going to work. I make a few tweaks to the process, though. So whatever it is, it probably won't be so angry. Probably. Well, we want to try. Okay, well, how exciting. Uh, but before we start, one tiny caveat. The process requires cool. special <gasps> genetic material, and I've only got enough for one clone, so... If anything happens to our new friend, try to recover its remains so we can reuse What? Them. Now, put your palm on the machine right here. Placing your palm on the pad of Irv's machine, you feel a small pinprick. Irv shows you a pink pulsating pineapple-sized blob of goo and tosses it, tosses it into a hatch on the side of the machine. The machine whirs and rattles for a few minutes before a sound makes its way out, similar to air gurgling out of a putty... Pudding filled balloon. The chamber shudders and the room rings with a wet slapping noise. With an ear ringing squelch, a highly pressurized jet of goo fires out of a crack in the chassis. The chamber shudders and the room rings with a wet slapping noise. With an ear ringing squelch, a high pressurized jet of goo fires out the crack in the chassis. Got it. Chamber shudders in the room. Okay. Yes, I get it. Finally, the doors slide open and a gush of foul smelling purple fluid pours out, followed by a gray skinned, hairless, and mucus covered clone. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, this one can talk. What? Clone. I'm just seeing if it's impacting anybody. You can do it. What the frick? Don't stop that. Stop, stop. <laughs> okay. I heard there's a synth hiding downtown. I always think of synths as family, somehow, since Dr. Yeah, Finster was half synth. Thanks, Irv. Thank you, Rangers. You saved my life. So is this, this clone is going to follow us. He has no, maybe in fights he like does his own thing. All right. Join the squad. Strangely enough, you'll probably just fit right in. I have no qualms with saving the destitute. But we must consider the inherent risks. Look, uh, how's our reputation holding up? I would say your reputation has improved dramatically. I haven't heard an impolite word about Team November in quite some time. Quite some time. Hmm. 
Are manners really that important? Rangers, manners are what separates man from bedraggled beast. Why the very implication of such a question? Let us both seek wisdom in the book of nauseatingly correct manners. Chapter 16, Jesus Pernicious Christ. Pleasantries, line 33. It is of the utmost importance that manners come from deep within your being. For if those pleasantries are ever false, your very soul will be consumed by your depraved rudeness to your fellow man. So you see, Rangers, manners are critically important in everything you do. I hope dearly that I have answered your question. Let us never speak of this again. Felicitations. Of course, Rangers. It would be impolite not to share such tremendous deals. So what has he got going on? Permanently increases toaster repair by one. I don't mind that. This monocle. Wait, oh, we didn't even put this on somebody. This is a barter and perception. We've been walking around with that for a long time. Let's buy each of these outfits because we can. Mustache wax. Uh, this is a utility animal whisperer. Or the cigars. We should probably buy this this skill book. This is this is one skill book I would consider using early, only because we're not going to invest in toaster repair. Uh, let me sell this. You can sell the frozen ferrets now. How much is this? 427 I need to get to. Confetti grenades. Get rid of them. I can probably be fine with selling food as well. My, oh, actually, those ones gave, like, uh, extra AP. Should maybe have kept those. These ones that just heal, it's going to clean out. We'll buy this. We have this case, too. Ugh, I don't know what to do with it. Hard ass, kiss ass. We're actually getting to the point where those are going to be pretty beneficial, too. So kiss ass, at our next upgrade, I think we'll just use it. Hard ass is over here, but we're not really using hard ass very much. Mm. All right, we're getting there. <coughs> nice place they. Oh, cool! Got the guy here. from the bazaar. Yeah. I think somebody pissed on the floor right here. What kind of dis? There should always be room for few more people at the dinner table. I'm glad you let the refugees stay. Do you, uh, do you miss the bazaar? No, not at all. There are so many wonderful people here who truly appreciate my cooking and actually chew before swallowing. You heard any rumors? There are a lot of people saying good things about the Rangers, mm. but especially about November. Good sign. Whatever you're doing, keep doing it. What's cooking? Only the best ingredients for my rangers. <laughs> it's hard to bring Colorado together with the stomach full of bitter rations. Seasoning ledger. The pages of this food stain notebook are filled with recipes, notes, and postmortems for a series of seasoning experiments. The last entry reads, equal parts salt, onion powder, garlic powder, soy sauce, ground bison bone. Failure, always failure. When, God, when will I find out? That heavenly silver packet flavor. <laughs> Probably from his uh, from his noodles deal. Okay, so this is the mess hall. Whoa. Huh? That's Who's new. That? I haven't seen this for a long time. Razors? What are you doing here? Well, I heard you was off in Colorado or somewhere. Well, welcome back. Well, this calls for a drink. Cheers. Jeez. Oh, good stuff. Is that you, Rangers? Oh, I 
ain't seen you in a donkey's age. <laughs> what the? This calls for a, a drink. Cheers. Hey, who drank my squeezins? What kind of a place is this? Uh, <laughs> hate to tell you this, but you're showing signs of late stage liver disease. We don't know this guy, by the way. He knows us. So I don't know. <laughs> what do you know? I ain't had a liver for years. Who are you? What are you doing in our bar? Come on, Rangers! You know me, it's Scotchmo. I, I don't remember him. Well, Maybe he did. Maybe we did. With you. Well, I hope you beat all them damn robots. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Sure, Scotchmo. <laughs> so I, I guess he probably was there. I don't recall him, but. Yeah, we remember. Of course you do. We went to the moon together, too. Oh, yeah. You fell in love with a, a space bat. Yeah, now it rings a bell. Sure. Uh, how'd you get here? What do you mean, how did I get here? I've been here the whole time. How did you get here? Oh, my God. You, you got a screw loose. We're not back from Colorado. We're still in Colorado. You're in Colorado. <laughs> you're, you're drunk. <laughs> if we was in Colorado, there'd be snow all over the place, and you'd all be wearing parkas. As you can see, like our breath from the cold weather. Squeezes. All right. Well, have fun. Well, don't mind if I do. Cheers. But I ain't here to drink. Nah, -uh. I'm here oh. to sign up. I want to be a ranger again, just like before. I know you rangers have been going through hard Interesting. Times, so I'm doing my patriotic duty and offering my services as a tired and, and true veteran. What do you say? Yeah, absolutely. Welcome aboard. Hot diggity. Give me a gun and uh, point me at the bad guys. I, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Lead on, rangers. Awesome. Oh, that's so cool. Small arm, sneaky shit, and lock picking. He's got a bladed weapon. That's a level eight hobo. Damn, I feel like he might be a good replacement for Quan, but I don't know. I think we hold off for a bit. We can always come back and pick him up, right? I don't know if that is gonna make the most sense, but. We'll Time to make this place shine. Grab a mop and let's get to work. A mop? <laughs> I'm a ranger. Oh, look You're at a this. ranger who was assigned to me. Get going. When the rangers, they said. Life of adventure, they said. Hey, rangers! That's... Hope you like what I've done with the space. I love it. Model of Bellamy Awards Greenhouse Spire, celebrating the rangers' routing of Dorsey forces in the Garden of the Gods. Oh, cool. We're going to have little uh, mementos. Slot machine is an engraving along its arm. Okay. Oh, for my friends the Rangers, may Lady Luck keep smiling on you, Farron Brago. Billboard of Peak and Poke, the pre-apocalypse preparedness mascots. Card propped in the fancy chair reads, the throne of Flab the Inhaler. Cool. All the clown Jesus. Hell yeah. There's a plaque next to this garish statue. Statue of the Payaso Rojo recovered from the bazaar. That's awesome. What else do we have? Something to lockpick. Nice. Kit Boodle. All, it's just junk. Just junk everywhere. Let's head to the barracks. B. B. Got it. To be. Pardon me. Just going to the latrine. By all means. Go ahead. Thanks. Don't mention it. Okay, Jesus, here we go. So, so if we want to change like anything, we can do it here. Uh, this is where the clothing comes in. Huh. Do we want to go into some, like, actual gear? So if we put that on them... Then what we would want to do is turn these off. 
<laughs> That's so cool. I don't know. I like I like how the gear looks, but if you wanted to like run your party super clean, like dress the science guys as scientists and whatever, it's kind of a cool way of doing it, I guess. Refugee Kim containers. You've been damn good to us, Rangers. No matter what happens, my people and I will stick by you. Good. Uh I think we found your missing guy, by the way. Andy? I think he's dead. <sighs> Andy. Damn it. I was afraid of that. We've been locked up for days, but at least we had our supplies with us. How did he... <sighs> no. I don't want to know. Enough death in this world. Don't need the details to make it even more bitter. Thanks for telling me, Rangers. I'll break it to the others. Careful out there. Took that as well as she could have. Uncaring world. Yeah, let's see how the jail is going. I done nothing wrong. I know it. Oh, I Mama Cotter's here. Where's that other dude? Yeah, this guy. It still broke the laws of Colorado. Yeah. And what else could I have done? You could have asked for assistance. Gone through proper channels. And what channels would those be? Name one that would have helped those people. Well, we got a lot of space so. to fill here. It's true. It sometimes takes the law a while to catch up with justice, but you just have to keep prodding it. <laughs> like I'm going to prod Saul Buchanan's carbuncle backside while there's innocent people dying out east every day. You're a good woman, Hope, but you got to wake up. Warden salutes you as you approach and gestures to the pristine think? brig. Scrubbed up nice, huh? Looks what clean can AF. I do for you? How are the prisoners? Isaac and his friends have been no trouble. I know they acted remarkably stupid, even by the metric of hot-headed teenagers. But now, they see the error of their ways. Them being here, instead of bleeding out among the rocks at the garden, or frozen on those nightmarish pillories, is what true justice looks like, Rangers. So once these guys are in here, I wonder if they're permanently here or if they can kind of like rehabilitate and we can let them out. Someday we'll be able to oh. let them out <laughs> and course. they will spend the rest of their lives working to better Colorado. Okay. Good luck out there. What have I done? You're a worm, Isaac. Yeah, Lucia I chiming in you. hot. Just because you're doing right by the refugees now, don't make you a saint. You little side winding snake shits. Showing her true colors. Oh, hey, hi again. What's, uh, what can I do for you? Making any new friends? Kill the prisoner. No, we're Later, good. Dudes, and, uh, don't forget to think about getting this door open. <laughs> I will. I'll think about it. Okay. Where Still are these blade. places apparently underneath down. Ranger HQ? That's what I'm wondering. Hey, Holy well, crap. Man. This place is delivery for you. busy AF. Glad to see you back, Rangers. Cleaned up the worst of the mess in your absence. Now, what can I help you with? Got any deliveries? An Arapaho caravaner Sick. dropped off a container full of goodies and said to thank you again for the save. Volunteers you mentioned, where are you getting them from? Well, I've got friends in the marshals, the Patriarch's Palace Guard, and some local militias. They've always got more folks wanting to sign up than they have positions for. So I asked my pals to send over everybody on their waiting lists. Now, some of these folks may be, uh, less than top grade for sure but most will be solid recruits ready and willing to learn you'll have to pick and choose mm. if you're gonna be our chief of security we need to know more about you happy to tell you what you need to know so you serve the patriarch for so long you must like him <laughs> i do indeed some folks can't get past his brusque ways but that's just the impatience of a man who knows what's right dealing with fools who don't he cares too deeply about the well-being of the people of Colorado to let political courtesy slow him down. 
Of course, you'll hear a lot of folk condemning him for hurting this group or that group with his decisions. But the way I see it, they should be glad it wasn't them who had to make the choice. So, what's your story? Well, came here with my folks when I was a kid. And was a young man when Saul was trying to unite the families and make Colorado a state. I got behind him right away. He had leader written all over him, even back then. I've served at his side ever since. Fighting against the monster army. Consolidating power here in town. Helping him expand our borders. What Mr. Gretzky means is that he played a key role in many of the Patriarch's greatest victories. And he had no small part in making Colorado what it is today. It's You're big too time. kind, Darius. Well, the fighting's never really ended. Trying to hold it all together is a constant struggle. This business with his children is just the latest in a long line of troubles. Uh, you gonna tell us some of your stories about the days fighting alongside the Patriarch? Stories? <laughs> yeah, they are stories indeed these days. I've told him so many times all the truth's been wrung out of him. Now, let's see. Ah, here's one. So, one day we were hunting monster army raiders and came upon a tin-walled shack. The people inside were shooting at us and not answering our calls to parlay. Well, I got sick of that real quick and unslung my rocket launcher. But Saul, he holds up a finger, then creeps around behind the compound. Well, pretty soon, we hear him smashing through those tin walls with his hammer, and then comes two high-pitched screams. A few moments later, he comes striding out, carrying a child under each arm. Wow. They've been shooting at us because they thought we were coming to eat their dying parents. Now, I will never know how Saul knew it was kids in there rather than raiders. But somehow he did. And we brought them and their folks back to the city and helped oh. them out until they got well again. And he's always been like that. An uncanny ability to always do the right thing. Okay, so this guy's like super pro Buchanan. But ever since we ran into death, and actually even before Angela Death contacted us, like Buchanan's, he's obviously he's a bit sketch, right? He's got too much power. He's a bit sketchy. We'll have to see what happens long term. All right, let's talk about something else. Happy to. What's on your mind? I'll be here. Seeing if there's anything. Well, we can talk to Gideon. It's great to be here, Rangers. I love what you've done with the place. Now, what can I do for you? That depends. How are you settling in? Wonderfully. Thank you for asking. Your staff is so accommodating. We'd like to ask your advice on political matters. That's what I'm here for. How can I help? I'm not sure. Uh, ooh. Interesting. <laughs> okay. How do we get in good with Brigo? Let's start there. Why would you want to? The yeah. man is a thug and corrupter and should have no place in this city. Fair. What can you tell us about the Jippers? They are fools. But unfortunately, because they own Colorado's only oil fields, we have to suffer with them. They worship a dead president as a god and walk around talking and acting like they were cowboys out of a child's picture book of the Old West. Ridiculous people. Saul should have dealt with them years ago. So is this insinuating that these jippers and the people in this list are associated more with Brigo and if we help them, that's a better reputation for them? 100 families? Despite the Patriarch's belief that he built Colorado on his own, he couldn't have done it without the support of the 100 families. He protects us, true, but without our money, he'd be protecting us with sticks and stones, not tanks and guns. We are the money and the power here and the keepers of the values of our survivalist forebears. Strong alone, but stronger together, like the mountains. Anyone who intends to rule here would have to appease the families first. Um, what about the refugees? Okay, A so this list is not just related, obviously. Difficult times. 
I wish them well, but I'd advise you not to waste resources on them. They come and go and won't be able to assist with your ambitions. Marshals? Uh, well. <laughs> be no, honest. Mr. Reyes, I can take it. Uh, if you insist, Marshal Kwan. The Marshals are our police force here in Colorado Springs, but let's say their focus isn't so much on solving crime as deterring it. Most problems are dealt with using the gun and the boot, rarely the head. They are also known to look the other way if enough money changes hands. Therefore, this is a town where help from the marshals is for those who can pay for it. Those who can't, fear them. Yeah. Was that a fair think, assessment, Marshal Kwan? I think that's fair. Uh, <laughs> um... Yeah, it is. Safe travels, Hey, Rangers. Gideon. Good chat. Let's check this thing. Encyclopedia Robotica Lore Book. A heavily used guide to Colorado robots. Welcome to the ninth edition of the Encyclopedia Robotica, the definitive repository of knowledge about all of Colorado's synthetic citizens. This 12-volume series will expound upon both the types of robots found throughout the snowy expanses and high elevations of the state, as well as their detailed histories. You'll discover exciting new facts of which you were never aware. For example, whose idea was it and how drunk were they when they decided to attach giant saw blades to multi-legged robots and turn them loose on a population made almost entirely of sawable flesh? Saw Dogs, page 152. Also, did you know our spider bots were designed to operate on uneven and treacherous terrain so that their inventors only later realized giant robotic spiders looked utterly terrifying to most humans? Perhaps you're researching Colorado robots for practical purposes, such as your family's survival. If so, Encyclopedia Robotica is your ultimate guide. Never again lose a loved one to a dreaded hopper robot, pages 65 to 75. The leaping automatons designed to carry all manner of explosive nuisances, from gas bombs to small tactical nuclear devices. You'll learn how to prevent yourself and others from being electrocuted by shock dogs, page 84. Hint, avoid the prongs. Conversely, servitor bots can be life-saving medical assistants and are often utilized well for that purpose. However, their ability to manipulate tools means you should never give one a loaded machine gun. All this information and more awaits you as you turn the next page of this in introductory volume. Enjoy your journey exploring the diverse and only marginally lethal world of Colorado's robots. Dr. Horvin Fitzgerald, PhD, a human doctor of robotics and definitely not a robot himself. <laughs> okay, Fitzgerald. I don't believe you. I know it's a tight fit with the refugees, but there's always enough room to do the right thing. Okay. Nothing Anytime. from him. So look, we've checked out every available space that I can see. The only place that I'm curious about is down here. You, we can't pick this lock. We were told that there's stuff in the basement from that group outside, but I can't even verify it because I can't get into this area. So... Oh, hold on. The door... Guarding this vault is enormous and recessed into the walls, floors, and ceiling. It appears it can only be opened with the numeric keypad on the wall, several feet away. Okay. Enter the number. It was like 900, 905, something, something. Okay. So I was even hovering on this. We couldn't see it. There was nothing indicating it there. It was just saying lock picking blocked. But she was right. I'm impressed. Okay, utility for plus one nerd stuff. Tank armor, chest armor. Plus nine. Tank helmet, helmet, plus six. Tank legs, plus six. Damn, that's actually pretty heavy. Um, this is plus nine. This is plus ten. But is this... This is boosted because of the aramid pads. So I'm thinking what we do is go here. Leg gear. He's got some evasion that's being boosted. And then here, he's currently got that mechanics plus one, which I really like. What's his mechanics skill at? Is at seven? We can always switch those things before we want to do a skill. But now look at him, dude. 
he's like insanely powerful we can even boost this further with mods we don't have anything there we have all of these in here okay now his mechanics are down a bit our next upgrades we need to go into melee combat anyways the monocle is bartering and perception we currently have crit chance plus three. Let's put this over here. We don't get the big benefits of the bartering, uh, but the plus two perception just makes him like insane, doesn't it? His perception now is 15. Like that's awesome. That's really good. Uh, man, we're going to fall behind on him too with his weapons. We'll have to see how that plays out. Are there any other items we want to be using here? Hmm. Close to repair. The, oh, the nerd stuff. That's right. Oh, we can actually give him these pants. Oh, we don't have the strength. So we've got mechanics as our utility and if i go here then we have this maxed not bad we don't have a a nerd skill book i don't think explosives mechanics brawling hard ass kiss ass kiss kiss ass sneaky shit toaster repair and automatic weapons okay so yeah we can just we try to remember anyways that if we want to switch this out um we can get him better mechanics and we can get better nerd stuff not bad actually why don't i throw the nerd stuff in there so that's sitting at at max and then uh that's just kind of one thing we don't have to worry about as much now this okay i see this is going to be only accessible with another code Recession of the walls, floors, and ceiling. It seems the only way to get through this is numeric. Keep having the walls several feet away. Nothing happens, of course. Okay. So, if we want to get back here, we're going to need to help her. God. And that sounds pretty rough because, well, obviously it's sketch AF. 20 see if there's anything else we want to investigate while we're out here. Sleeping in our beds, There might be some stuff down in this area. Well, the cyborg chicken. Let's go. We charm it. Runs itself into the wall repetitively. <laughs> All right, I guess not. Oh, a bunch of dogs, though. Here we go. Combat speed is actually quite good. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff out here. Reactor cores, alloy barrels, glance plates. Nugs. Waits. Okay, guys, I think I think Ranger HQ is under control. I think. So let's just take a quick glance at our mission log now. Now we're at the point where we could, like looking at our levels, our lowest level is level 11. So we could probably go here and head to Denver. Valor Buchanan, the Patriarch's younger son, has allied himself with the Jippers in Denver. The Reagan fanatics have cut off the oil supply and the Patriarch wants both the sun and the oil back. But we have these other things here. Uh, Charlie knows and the cartel want to take control of the bazaar, and they're offering us a chance to help them. That's a pretty big deal if we want to do that. The cinema thing, we could get that guitar ornament, maybe try and give it to that, uh, that busker that we saw. And we also, like, these are all lower level things. So downtown Colorado Springs, we could re-venture there because uh, there's some other stuff 
we want to visit as well. This is out and about. Find a way inside the secret prison under Broadmoor Heights. This is in the area. Hunt down Neelius Dorsey. Hmm. So I'm thinking what we do. Let's go downtown Colorado Springs. Knows the synth is still somewhere downtown. Wants us to find it, kill it, and bring us its head. Let's do that. That was a lot. That was a lot to take in back at the old HQ. Um, a couple of problems. Weird mix of people because of some of the decisions that we've made, but should be interesting. Now, if we... The one big thing is, do we want to F with the bazaar too hard? I'm a little bit concerned about that. A little bit concerned, but I also am trying to think of, like, what else would we need at the bazaar? Like, we could buy stuff there, but we could buy stuff at our base for probably better deals. Probably better deals. Remember, this is Ranger HQ. I have good news. There's some oh. new gear here next time you stop by. It's a big improvement over the basic stuff we had before. But one last thing. The Patriarch commissioned a sculptor to make a statue of Vargas outside our HQ. He's nearly done, but Vargas, I'd cool. like to know who we want to dedicate this statue to. Uh, <laughs> I think we want to honor the Fallen Rangers. Good call, November. Making sure the Rangers know they'll be remembered if the worst comes to pass may boost camaraderie. I'll pass it along. Over and out. I wonder if we should jump back there and to grab that gear. We'll maybe do that after. Read the last oh, wait, wait, wait. Faint static. Okay, there was something about faint static. Is that related to this here? He knows it's somewhere downtown. Wants to find a kill it and bring its head. Is I think this is the one that said we would have that faint static around. Oh, right. Yeah, Randy Get. he's the one that um, wants us to help his family, and then he'll join the Ranger HQ. Okay, now I remember. Got it. Okay, so it's probably somebody in this area. We we'll might have to talk to each of the citizens. Rangers, right? I've heard people talking about you. Boiled beets for lunch. Beet oh, here's Hallie. Food around here ain't good, but it's predictable. This... Is the worst dude. Oil beets for lunch, beet loaf for dinner. Food around here ain't hardly good, wait to get back inside. Look at the Patriarch's Dorsey captive. Guess this trial was a quick one. You've met the Patriarch? Is it true that he's dying? What I wouldn't give for a sunny day. What I wouldn't give for a sunny day. <laughs> You're the Rangers, right? Huh. Talking about you. My theory has not resulted in anything. Sure, I'm glad you Rangers came. 